This one's gonna be the second biface of the Hornstone biface cache that I'm making. Still not ready to crack into the big nodule yet. It's a bit of a shame I'm gonna have to lose the quartz in there. And most of the bullseye effect probably.
Well, what happened here? Not quite sure what happened there, but let's see. Two flakes came off with one strike there. It's a little banana shaped, but that's okay for a biface at this stage. I can flatten it out a bit here. Still need to work on this edge. Brutal room at. Okay, time to bring in the small guns.
All right, that's a little too slow going.
was a huge, very helpful flake.
Yeah, that was a bad idea. Messed up that nice clean surface. Yikes. Something going on in there. Well, that got part of it, actually. Had to make a little sacrifice to get it. Not too bad, I guess.
nice. That saved it to be exactly what I wanted. It actually went a little farther too. That's cool. This is a long video. I gotta get this done soon. Again, it's probably gonna be a theme throughout this whole five face cache, but I did a little bit more to this than I originally, originally intended. But I had to get all the edges refined and get rid of those you know, bad spots from earlier mistakes and bad hits. get rid of that spot still. Well, there's definitely, you know, another theme is my obsessiveness. You know, it just wants me to get rid of this, you know, straight ridge here, this high spot, get that down, get this down. But realistically, I would be doing that with indirect percussion, or I should be moving down to that at this stage anyways. So the edges are all somewhat controlled. There's a few thick spots, but that's okay. Don't have any crazy quartz patterns like in the last one. There's a little bit there. Had to get rid of most of it. 
throughout the process. You can still see a little bit of the bullseye there. Not too much though. A little better on this face. Little quartz in the middle for some character. By face number two.